But also I want to focus to uh, uh, turn my attention to the individuals and to the persons who are who have been going through and you're in the middle of it and you've been praying and there and it seems like God is not answering your prayers. It seems like heaven is silent and you've been praying and asking and and it seems like God just doesn't want to do or he won't act on your behalf. And what can happen sometimes is that that we can become resentful. We can become disillusioned in our praying. We can begin thinking, okay, well, why pray? Because God doesn't do it and he's not going to answer it anyway. Why am I wasting my time? Prayerfully this morning as we look at Paul's instruction to us, we might understand that God gives us what we need even when we've been waiting for a long time to have a grateful heart and to be thankful. And then I want to speak to those also who who may be going through the fire. You're in the heat. And oftentimes you hear prayers like this or sermons like this where where somebody is is encouraging you to to rejoice and, and encouraging you to be grateful. And you just want to scream out, you don't know what I'm going through. It's easy for you, preacher, to to say be thankful. It's easy for you to be grateful, but you're not living in my house. You're not dealing with my circumstances. You're not dealing in my world. We'll see from this text this morning that even even in those circumstances, we can can rejoice. We can find thankfulness and we can have hearts full of gratitude. 